Welcome! This video will talk about checking for understanding. What is checking for understanding? Checking for understanding is when the teacher continually verifies what the students are learning while they are being taught. Why is it important to use CFU? It allows you to make instructional decisions during the lesson. It allows you to monitor students' progress in real time so as not to wait until formal assessments in order to revise your lessons. Think about it. If you spend a whole week teaching a unit and then on Friday you give a formal assessment, a quiz, and the students don't understand anything that you've taught them, you've wasted a whole week of your life and their life. It's better to monitor as you go along so that you can revise the lessons if necessary. Time is precious. It's also to ensure that students are not practicing and reinforcing mistakes. Traditionally, we teach something, we have them practice it. We want to monitor it to make sure that they're practicing the right thing because practice makes permanent. The old adage says practice makes perfect, but not necessarily perfect if they're practicing the wrong thing. So you want them to be practicing the correct procedures. Checking for understanding strategies. First you teach, then you ask a question. You ask the students to think of the answer and hold it in their head. Tell them they cannot shout the answer out because that deprives all the other children of their think time. I would discourage you from having them do self-evaluations. I've had people in the past say, oh, if you understand, thumbs up. If you don't understand, thumbs down. It's better for you to ask questions so that you can really hold them accountable and really understand whether or not they understand what you've just taught them. You will call on the students randomly. This keeps all the students engaged because they believe at any time you may call on them. You can alter this upon occasion if you come to a student that doesn't know the answer or is really painfully shy. You can let them pass and let another student help them out. But you let that student know that the next time in the future you will call on them again so that they do not get in the habit of getting out of answering. After receiving an answer from one of the students that you have randomly called upon, if the answer is correct, the teacher repeats the answer for all the students to hear clearly. If the answer is correct but incomplete, the teacher repeats it but elaborates to make it a more complete, detailed answer. If the answer is wrong, you let them know that it's not correct and you restate, you state the correct answer. This process, this strategy, allows all the students to hear the correct answer multiple times and really reinforcing the correct answer. Some additional strategies is you can ask the question and instead of calling on individuals, they could all have their own individual whiteboards and they could write the answer and hold it up so that you can see it. Um, if you don't have whiteboards, you can take paper, 8.5 by 11, fold it in half, fourths, and then eighths, and they can write the answer on the little rectangle of each eighth, each side of the paper, hold it up on their chest where you can see the answer, but their neighbors cannot, and they can just keep flipping the paper till their blank piece uh, is available to them. You can also have exit tickets. You can have a little mini lesson and have a little written quickie, quickie, quickie quiz, which is one or two questions where they would write their answer and you would have them turn it in to you. You can also also kind of do the same process with a do now or warm up activities where they have a question or an activity that would give you an evaluation of whether or not they understood the lesson. Now it's very very important that with exit tickets and do nows and warm up activities that you grade it. Well you don't have to grade it for a grade in your grade book but you have to look at it, evaluate it and give them some feedback. As you can see checking for understanding is quick and easy. It is very powerful in many ways. One, it can help you guide your instruction and help you modify as you go along so you don't spend time going down the wrong path and wasting your time and frustrating both you and your students. It also is very good for student engagement because if they know they're going to get called on, if they know if they have to write an answer down on a whiteboard, if they have this kind of constant interaction. It's going to keep them involved and engaged. So it's I strongly, strongly, strongly encourage you to use checking for understanding in your classroom. Thank you for visiting. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest updates and your comments are always welcome. You can also visit our webpage to get a copy of this presentation and there are other teacher resources available there as well. www.mastermiddleschoolmath.com Thank you for visiting.